Hey everybody, Jeremiah Clark, Product Director for Lowrance Electronics. We're out here on the water today to show you guys an exciting new feature we've added with the new HDS Live, HDS Carbon, and Elite FS 22.1 software update. It's a feature we're calling Ghost 360. With a 3-in-1 nose cone on the Ghost trolling motor, the new software update in the HDS Elite FS or HDS Carbon, and a software update for your Ghost trolling motor, we can now turn your Ghost trolling motor into a 360 imaging sonar. So while we're out here on the water today, we're gonna to take you through a little intro of the product. We're gonna show you how it works, some of the features and benefits of it, and kind of give you guys just some cool screen grabs of exactly what it looks like and exactly what you'll be looking forward to when you get this installed on your boat. All right, so we've got the HDS unit updated. We've got the trolling motor updated. Now we need to actually go in and enable the Ghost 360 feature, and this is super simple. You touch the gear icon on the top left of the screen under System, scroll down to where it says Advanced, and then under Features, there's a feature called Ghost 360. You tap that, just make sure it's enabled. It says Ghost 360 features have been enabled, you hit OK. You can hit your Pages key to go back to the home screen, and now we have a new icon. This is where you go to find that new 360 view. So we go in there, and you just start a scan. And as soon as you start a scan, the trolling motor is going to center. It's going to start rotating on its own. I'm not doing anything with the foot pedal. I'm not doing anything with my hands. This is totally automatic. The motor's turning the transducer, and as you can see, we start to draw a gorgeous 360 image here. So we're sitting uh, in, a, in a reasonably shallow cove. It's about 10, 11 feet deep where we're sitting. And there's a culvert in this cove and a creek channel that flows through to the other side back behind some riprap here. So I can see the small riprap on the screen, but look how that culvert really pops out. This is at 100 foot range. Our max range on this is gonna be about what you'd expect from side scan. So 800 kilohertz, you're gonna get about 150 feet max. 455 kilohertz, you can get up to 300 feet. Where I really find this useful is kind of casting distances, less than 100 feet. So if we zoom this in a little bit to say 60, that culvert's gonna look a lot bigger. You'll start to see some of the rock riprap detail around it. You can see some of the detail as, the, as that kind of creek channel flows into it. And then again, this is just the ghost trolling motor sweeping back and forth at 180 degrees to draw this 360 image. So as we draw more of the image, you can see here's, again, here's the side of that little creek channel where it flows into the culvert, some big rocks out front. And you can see kind of off to the back, if we were to turn this camera around, we've got some uh, riprap along a little bridge or a little roadway behind us. That's what all this looks like. So if the area looks like rock, it's rock. If it looks like smooth dirt, it's smooth dirt. It's kind of like just looking at side scan, but in a 360 view. One really cool feature we thought of when we were designing this is, you know, when you're in the Ghost 360 panel, you have a start and stop scan button right here. And that's pretty cool when I'm squatted down on the front of the deck. But if I'm standing up, I'm fishing in bibs, I've got, you know, a rod in my hand, I don't want to have to reach down and touch the screen all the time. So we actually have the ability with the ghost trolling motor, three pre-programmable keys that you could actually go set to do a function. One of those functions we've done with this feature is the ability to set the ghost trolling motor pedal to start and stop a scan. How you set that up is you go to your home screen. Again, you touch that gear icon. This time we're going to scroll down to autopilot and you see this button that says configure trolling motor keys. We touch that. We actually have the two dot button on there set as our Ghost 360 scan. You could set up any of these that you want. Um, so like I'm going to make the three dot button be my anchor here. Or actually I'm going to make it be waypoint because I've already got an anchor button. So now all of my buttons on my trolling motor are programmed. So I have constant on my Ghost 360 scan, which we're talking about today, and I have a waypoint saved. So now when I'm interacting with this, I don't have to bend over and touch the start stop scan button whenever I interact with the product. All right, so some people ask, you know, how, do you, how does it actually start and stop? You've shown me on the screen how I can start and stop the scan. You've shown me how I can program the buttons. But one of the things that we've done when we designed this is that since the ghost trolling motor is primarily a trolling motor, you want it to take over at a moment's notice. So you don't want to have to stop scans, uh, interact with the unit at all. So really, whenever I push the pedal, whether it's the direction or the throttle, I take over and you'll notice on the screen the scan has stopped. This is where that programmable key comes in handy. I get the boat position where I want. I literally just reach down and tap that with my foot and my scan starts again. So fully, fully functional without ever having to bend down and touch the screen. I never have to take a rod out of my hands. Off I go with the new scan. If I need to move the boat again, I just move the boat again. And when I'm done, I start another scan. All right, so I've shown you kind of some of the basic features of the actual product itself, kind of some of the, you know, the, the what is it. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw it over to Matt Worth, our associate product manager who helped work on this product a lot, to take you through a lot of the settings and a lot of the menu and just kind of demystify this whole thing and just tell you how to get up on the water and going. Thanks, Jeremiah. I'm going to walk you through the setup on how I would uh, set this up for a day of fishing here. Once the Ghost 360 feature is enabled, you see it here in the uh, panel index from the home screen. So we can go here if we want to look at a full screen 360. Obviously, I'm not scanning right now. And when I start my scan here, the motor is going to reposition to 12 o'clock. As you can see, now we're rotating. We have both the left and the right side <clears throat> um, elements of the transducer rotating to generate our 360 image here. So in our depth that we're at now, 10 foot, uh, 60 foot, I would not go past that. Um, but just like side scan, your range for the 360 is going to be dependent on the depth that you're in. Frequency, uh, again, depth dependent. With the active imaging, it really shines with 800 kilohertz. It depths up to 40, 50 foot. Um, you're really not going to use 455 unless you're any deeper than that. Auto contrast, just like all of our other sonar uh, products or features, we, we set this to default auto. Our goal is to make this so simple, these settings, to where you just turn it on and fish without having to adjust a bunch of settings. The color palette setting on uh, Ghost 360 is, is the same, gives you the same selections as uh, side scan. Of course, default's number six. Um, again, user preference uh, for color palette. Personally, I like number 10 for, for 360, as well as side scan and down scan. I feel like I can see it better in the sunlight. Um, but as you see, when you change color palettes, it, it starts the new color at the current position of rotation when it starts. So it, it won't update your image, but it will start painting that new color you selected throughout the rotation. Now on the screen, we have the advanced menu. Um, the only one you would, you would possibly have to adjust here, and, and I say possibly because throughout the boats we've tested 360 on, we've never had to, uh, to go into this position setting. So as you see right here, we are power pulled down right now, so the boat stationary is not moving. We have a culvert out in front of this piece of riprap that's behind the boat, and, and, and that's 100% accurate, we know that. But let's say, a new new setup you go out there and you don't the known piece of structure is you know offset maybe it's in the incorrect position at that point you would access the screen and adjust either plus or minus in the degrees that it would take to bring your piece of structure back to its correct location like i said this one did not require any position offset adjustment so we leave this one on zero. The last one here on the menu bar list is more options. Go in here at the top, stop sonar. When stop sonar is enabled on 360, remember it's, it's coming from the active imaging three in one nose cone. So when you stop it here, it also stops side and down scan at the same time or vice versa. If you're in side scan or down scan and you stop, it's gonna stop all three. Look ahead, this is an option we put in here to kind of give the user, it, it kind of zooms in on the, uh, the image, brings it down a little bit, and kind of gives it just more of a what's out in front or to the sides, not really focus on what's behind um, the transducer or the boat because we get rid of that and we're kind of just giving you more of a bigger image of what's out, what's in front to the side. Last one here is turn speed. Now, as you see, Turn speed is currently grayed out. That is because we are under a live scan right now. So in order to adjust the turn speed, we have to stop our current scan and I'm gonna use the foot pedal to stop. Now you see turn speed is active. I can go in here, slow. This is gonna be about a 40 second full rotation, full 360 image. Medium is around 30 seconds and fast is about 20 seconds. Now with turn speed, fast is gonna give you the quickest rotation, the quickest time to make a full 360 image, but the least amount of detail. The slow setting is gonna give you the slowest 
rotation with the most detail. And medium is kind of an in-between all around the best setting, which is why we set this on default. Now with the fast setting, I, I did want to go ahead and show you that even though it is going to be the least amount of detail, it's still pretty good. So you know the culvert we've been looking at over here to the left of our boat. I'm going to go ahead and start a scan again with my pedal using the fast speed and show you what the culvert looks like now. And again, we said this was around 20 seconds. And as you can see there, I can still make out that, that uh, piece of structure, that culvert, pretty good. And we're still scanning fast here. So there's the culvert. I can still see rocks, separations in the rock. There's the opening of that culvert there. So again, fast. And you are going to get the fastest speed and you're still going to get good detail. We move locations here. I just wanted to show you one of the ways I like to fish with Ghost 360 is letting the boat get blown with the wind, um, moving down a bank. And I have Ghost 360 running the entire time. I'm doing rotations, continuous rotations. It's a good way you can cover water um, and still not obviously go too fast with Ghost 360. but. As you can see, we are moving and uh, still generating a good image. Now that, now that we're out in deeper water, I went ahead and increased the range out to 100 feet. Gives me a little bit of a uh, better view and further distance of, of the structure. You see these rocks here. Got a tree, standing piece of standing timber there. So the deeper you are, the further you can set your range. And one thing I wanted to add and mention here is with our range set to 100 feet, that's 100 feet to each side. So we actually are covering and viewing a 200 foot radius with 360. 